an idea worth action solitary media pods oases of silence and creativity and control so what's the idea a shell a circular shell that assembles could be rectangular, but I think circular is uh, much more human in its feeling. Uh, <clears throat> a white circular shell that snaps together. Uh, and uh, let me see if I can, uh, I'm not sure I can capture it without going into uh, Draw mode, but <clears throat> just imagine something that's about four feet in diameter with a little door that you can open up and snug inside, a little bit like an airplane cockpit. Now, um, the first thing to establish is the need, and one of the needs is you know exactly right here what where I'm uh, sitting I've actually driven 15 minutes to have an oasis of silence because my girlfriend is making a video and doing some things in the apartment my neighbors bang doors this and that and the other and that disturbs sound quality plus it means I have to have a conversation with my girlfriend. Why am I home? What am I doing? That interrupts my thought flow. And so I'm on a noisy street when I have an idea. And I change course because I cannot record the idea in that moment. And um, And I drive 15 minutes because at least this is a nice visual setting. You can hear the ruckus going on. This is a block to articulation. This is a block to visioning and innovation. Um, I am being bombarded by stimulation out of my control. And yet, if I do not create and express this idea immediately, it will not happen. And so there's a choice to create it imperfectly or not at all. But what if there were a choice to go on my app, locate a silence pod, and go there? Because this is not perfect. I sat down at the only silent table, a crowded people of people sat down next to me as soon as I started to record. I went down to the little temple uh, right over here and you can see how jerky it is not having a gimbal with me um, down at the meditation area. Immediately a crowd of people come down and not only decide to have loud conversations at the meditation area, uh, they walk around me and walk around me and take photos next to me as if I don't exist. Then I come up here, people come and, and bother me about a dog. Uh, and so there is literally a lack of respect for this mode, for this persona. And the question is how to restore that, how to create that. How much of, of the need is there? Uh, not to mention, you know, the motorcycles. So this is ab absolute horror. And we're living in that horror as we speak, you are living in that horror, the horror of interruptions outside of my control. So that's the stimulation, that's the pain. So what's the response? Well, it can you know, be a number of things, but um, how about a pod that takes 20 minutes to assemble? Um, how about a rental network of pods where you can set up a pod of media quality and go and enjoy it and where you can reserve it 
Um, how about a media pod network? And so um, this is not about making money, but it is about providing a service, meaning I don't know if something like this would make or lose money overall, but I certainly think it can provide a service. Uh, so we have pods that assemble in 20 minutes. Now what controls do we want to give the person arriving at the pod? One, use a built-in camera. Two, have Skype communication. Three, browse. Four, nap. Five, meditate. Six, create ambient experiences. Uh, seven, video conference. Eight, blog. Uh, nine, uh, take a nap. Ten, watch a movie. So this is this is the experiences we want to enable. Um, what kind of cost can we expect? I think somewhere between ten and thirty dollars an hour uh, would be something I would pay in a heartbeat to have these options. Now, what uh, what features does the pod need? Number one, high-speed internet. Number two complete audio control. Number three, high quality speakers. Number four, high quality microphone. Number five, mixing software. Number six, lighting control. From complete blackness to a whole range of lighting controls. Number eight, uh, number eight, backdrop control where like I have no control over the backdrop uh, the way these tables are set up and this is as I say the best place I could find with with 15 minutes notice to make a video and you can see what a joke it is um, backdrop control uh, number uh, number Ten, I think projected image, like you can have kind of the experience of a 360 image. Um, and I think we should have three camera locations uh, so that something could be recorded in three different cameras. We should have file saving and serving and up, you know, that kind of thing. It should have self-diagnosis. Uh, it should have a credit card. Um, or cash receipt through you know through an attendant um, and you should be able to uh, you should be able to rent them you should be able to buy them you should be able to partner um, with a variety of businesses um, it should have a, you know, some functionalities. Ideally, the ability to uh, have a meal inside as well. Um, video game control. Now, we also need some joysticks as part of this thing, <coughs> uh, or multiple experiences. So, a Bluetooth remote. Number one. Number two, joysticks that fold out. Uh, number three, buttons on the wall. Um, number four, control of your own equipment with plugins. Uh, so these are some of the features that are needed. Uh, I think this is needed more and more as we move into virtual domain. Um, and uh, so the experience that I want to create for an end user is the following. That uh, the experience I want to create for users is the following. Uh, 
they on their app type uh, their needs. Uh, the closest quiet places that users recommend times and places show up for free on the app. When those are unavailable, the pods show up as paid rental places, or you can buy, um, you know, a, a couple of different pods. Um, and I want them, I want a pod to be able to pack into one or two suitcases. Um, you know, so that's one part of it. And, uh, yeah, so that's, that, that's a part of it. So someone clicks on a pod, makes a reservation, makes a payment to secure the reservation, arrives at the pod knowing that it is free, uses the pod, <clears throat> um, and the pod can either be a, you know, you can reserve it either until I'm done and pay a higher rate because you're always paying for, um, you know, at least an extra 30 minutes. So you can reserve the pod until I'm done at a higher rate, or you can en enjoy the pod for a set time at a lower rate. Um, and so those are the, you know, those are the different ordering capacities. You come in and you decide there's a place for your little bag, um, there's a little table for drinks. We could have, a, you know, a limited food menu. Um, the pod does an inspection sweep of video before, an inspection sweep after. The user is charged a cleaning fee if necessary. Um, and there are pods at the airport. There are pods, uh, definitely pods at the airport, and pods at uh, uh, pods at a variety of uh, <clears throat> places around the world where people need immediate silence and control for business conferencing. Um, once settling into the pod, you can take a quick tutorial on any pod. You can also pre-educate on an app. Uh, once you get in, you select your background either from your own files and data. You can actually create a pod setting and experience that is saved so that as soon as you arrive in the pod, you have, you have you know, template number one. The backdrop you're used to shows up. The audio and sound systems you are used to uh, shows up. I might add that the self-driving cars uh, could integrate with this in two ways. One is um, motion stabilizing and a trailer. Uh, and one, so you just add a trailer to your car uh, or a mount, you know, in the back. Two is the cars themselves become pods along these lines, uh, self-driving pods, creating more and more of this experience. Um, and the pod navigates with you. Uh, th three, you have yearly contracts. You can you know, basically have a contract of a yearly pod experience anywhere there are pods. Uh, for a discounted rate, you can buy them, and, and basically it will create simulate. So you get into your pod, you press, you know, default setting one, the backdrop. Let's say 
the Paris Eiffel Tower just shows up immediately. See, now this is the joke. See, I would stop here when it sounded like this. And then it's, by the time I've set up, it sounds like it does, you know, before. Um, <clears throat> so my backdrop sets up, my microphone settings set in, my level of reverb in the audio setup is, is you know, is, sets up automatically. Um, and my level of lighting and all that sets up. And I create a blog and I travel around the world creating stable content, communicating with my customers, doing virtual this, that, and the other uh, from one location to another. Um, and it's a great, it is a great needed service that solves an enormous level of, of need. And the need is strongest in the group. 10 to 20% of the population is highly sensitive. All this kind of stuff means the difference between being highly creative and productive and overwhelmed and incapable of producing at all. 